Okay, so as I was saying, I'm gonna show you what I got for Christmas. This sucks, doesn't it? Hey everybody, happy new year, happy Christmas, happy birthday, happy whatever. Whatever you're celebrating, I hope it's going really well for you and I hope you're having a good time and I hope your 2019 is already going better than your 2018 because if your 2018 was like mine, it sucked ass. So I hope this is going really well for you even though here it's only the 2nd of January. We still gotta be positive sisters. Um, it doesn't really work like... No. James Charles is a genius. I can't make that work. So, well, first I'll tell you that this is like a new setting. I haven't really filmed here yet. Um, you can't properly see the new setting because um, my tripod isn't set up properly because I'm missing a bit. So, first off, I'll show you that I've got these little pictures above me head, which is pretty cute. Little board thing, just reminding you to like and subscribe just in case you forget. Um, this table was literally just a plain white table and we bought marble contact and put it over the table. So um, we love a creative cousin. First off, my boyfriend who is kind of gold, got me this cute as um, teapot and cup from T2 um, because I am obsessed with tea. I don't like coffee, I am a tea girl, so I really love that and I've been using it a lot even though it is summer. I don't give a shot. Um, so yeah, I really, really love that. I think it's really cute. And then my best friend, Bryony, got me some tea to go with the teapot and cup. I haven't tried all the teas yet. I have tried French Earl Grey and Packs of Peach, which I really liked, but I am really, really excited to try Fruilicious. I don't know, it just sounds pretty good to me, so I'm really excited to do that. And I also really love the box. Oh, I'll show you what some, of the, some of the things my parents got for me. They did recently go to Singapore, so they got heaps and heaps of cool stuff. So first off, this camo Nike like dress with a little hood because Melbourne weather is that unpredictable. So I think this is so cute. It's really comfortable. It's like casual, but I could dress it up if I wanted to with some cute boots. So yeah, I really like this. Next, um, this almost made me cry. I'm, I'm so shook. I'm so grateful. Um, we got Shane Dawson merch. Okay, it's, it's not on right, but we've got Shane Dawson merch. Um, his Oh My God hoodie, which um, I've wanted for so long, but it's not that I couldn't afford it. If, yeah, it's that I couldn't afford it mostly. So the fact that they got that for me, knowing that I wanted it, it was really, really cool. So yeah, I stand that. Next up is some really cute green bathers from Cotton On. So these are the bottoms. And then this is the top. Um, yeah, I need new bathers. I wanted something a little bit different. So I really like the green. I've never had green really anything before. Because I don't know. Green's not everyone's color. It's probably not mine. I haven't really worn them yet, but we'll find out. Next one, I was like kind of iffy about because I picked it. But I was like, oh my God, this is kind of like 2014 me. Do I want to bring her back? She was a phase that maybe we don't want anyone to know about or relive. So this one was like really interesting. But I picked this yellow, grey and black and white, I guess, flannel. Honestly, flannel. But see, I really like it because it just it feels so nice and I can tie it up and make it look kind of cute in the summer. Yeah. I, I don't hate it, let's, let's just say. Like, I don't know. I'll show you some pictures of like my my flannel phase. Next up is this really really cute Tommy jeans jumper. Like it's kind of cropped, kind of not. It's quite thin, which I like because I still like to wear hoodies in summer just because I feel really comfortable in them. So I really like this. I think it's gonna be cute. Even in winter, I'll still wear it. Ugh. 
Another thing my parents got me, which I've already started to use, is this diary from Kmart. So we've got notes, we've got some stickers, a monthly, weekly calendar, to-do list and meeting notes. So I've already started the weekly calendar. Um, skip it all. So I already started that because, you know, I need to be organized this year. It's gonna have to, you know, I have to step up my game. Also planning a vision board, which I'm gonna make. If you guys wanna see a video on the vision board, let me know, cause I can do that. It really just depends on whether you actually want to see it or not, so let me know. But yeah, I really like this because it makes me feel really professional, makes me feel really organized, and I really stand. So the next thing my parents got me... <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but that pink dress there is from Factory. I picked that out as well because I really like it, but it also got... I also got another one that's purple, and it's like a snaky kind of pattern, but this one I stand. It's really, really cute. Um, and it's really flowy, like, I can eat a bit and wear it, and that's really all I need in my life. Next is this gorgeous black and white stripy jumpsuit. I'll insert a photo of me wearing that on Christmas Day. Insert editing amber. Good job editing amber. So, yeah, and if I have a photo in that pink dress I'll insert that too but I'm pretty sure I don't shamesies anyway Ew. so next to my grandma and grandpa on my mum my mum's side they got me a beach towel which is so cute because I actually need one it's a really cute purple and white one stand they also got me Mecca Maxima voucher which I have already spent I'll show you what I spent that on so first off I got some NARS foundation because I really needed some good full coverage foundation and this is in the shade, I don't know how to say it, wait can you even see that? And then next I got this Too Faced Natural Face Palette, so it comes with bronzer, highlight and blush. I can't open it myself, I need someone to open it for me so the chances of you being able to see it in this video are quite slim. If you want to know what it looks like, maybe just look it up because I suck. I can't open it. it. You have to open it with that love heart. But whether I have nails or not, I can't. So that's what I got with my Mecca Maxima voucher. Um, she also gave me a Hoyt's voucher, which is so cool because I do see quite a few movies with my friends. Um, or just like my family, so that's really good. Also, just some money which I thought was really cool so you'll see what I spent some of my money on later. My grandma on my dad's side and grandpa on my dad's side got me this gorgeous like purse but it's really big, really spacious. If I go out I can easily fit my phone in it. So I think that's grouse because I don't really have anything like this. I only have like literal bags or just little purses. So I really do like this one. They also got me a little name tag, which is really cute. And I think maybe some money as well. Yeah. Next, my auntie and uncle on my dad's side got me a Rebel voucher, which is good because I do want to start exercising. So I do want to start getting some cute workout gear. Um, what else? Um, my other auntie and uncle on dad's side got me, she gave me some money which was really nice because I'm always in need of that. So my other auntie on my dad's side, um, her and her husband also, her and my uncle, I don't know, why did I say that? Anyway, got me these gorgeous earrings from my friends at Our Gift To You. If you don't follow them on Instagram, I will put them in my bio, Instagram and Facebook. So that's just one, I've got the other one down there. And I also got this gorgeous silver necklace with a heart and a key, which I thought was gorgeous. It's in my room and I forgot it because I'm really stupid. Um, my uncle and auntie on my mum's side got me this gorgeous Gucci purse, which I'm so obsessed with. It feels amazing. It looks amazing. It's really, really spacious. Oh my God, I have a lot of crap in there already. Let's take out the tissue at least. Oh, that's from food. Oh my God, the ice. 
yeah so it's really quite spacious i can chuck my phone in there just like the other purse that my other grandma got me so um i cannot i just i'm so obsessed my first gucci item i guess i can show you some of the stuff i brought myself some of it's a little bit tragic and some of it i mean you know what? None of it's tragic. All of it is necessary and I would take none of it back ever. So one of the first things that... One of the first things that I brought myself was a... Smeagol pen... <laughs> a Smeagol pencil case. Um, I do work at Smeagol so I do get to see a lot of the stuff that comes in. But this is something that I just couldn't let go for some reason. I was so obsessed with it. So it's a unicorn pencil case that already comes with all this stuff inside. So we've got pens, we've got a rubber, a sharpener, ruler, little book, highlighters, gray leads, and a massive pen. Which I kind of love because I did get that diary from my parents. So that's gonna go together really well. Um, I do wanna start planning a documentary or I have already started planning a documentary with my family. Um, we also have short film idea, so it's going to be a really busy year in terms of all that stuff. So having a pencil case, having a good diary is quite necessary in my opinion. Um, another thing I got myself was just a red champion t-shirt, which is like just nice and simple, but really cute. And the material is really nice. Like it kind of feels sporty, but it doesn't look sporty, I guess. Um, and then I also got this navy blue champion, like, um little jumper which is really really cute i don't have much navy blue stuff so that's why i went with the navy blue next i'm going to show you something that um terrifies my dog actually terrifies well it terrifies my new dog which then terrifies my older dog so love that boo bitches i mean can i get a merry christmas uh, I'm kind of feeling, oh my god. Aren't they feeling this though? When the tea is too good. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. The next thing is one of the fake, like one of the best things I've ever bought in my life. I wanted to buy one before Halloween. But um, they were like close to $30 and a sister can't just spend $30 out of nowhere. Especially because in, um, in Australia, in Melbourne, Halloween's like getting bigger but it's just, it's still not that big yet. So no one really goes trick-or-treating. We had one trick-or-treater, well one group of trick-or-treaters come to our house last year. So, I mean it's progress but we're still not as, you know, as close as to America as we could be. So, inflatable T-Rex costume, seven dollars fifty. <gasps> Should I do like a little Jeffrey Star thing? Where he goes? Wait, how does he? Hang on. How does Jeffrey Star? He goes like. I'm gonna make that so good anyway. Um, I'm not trying that on because I'm not a child. So anyway, what else did I get? I mean, I should introduce you to my new dog. So this is Archie. We got him when he was four months old. So that was last, oh, well now he's five. Stop it. He's five months now. Um, he's a lot, he's very hard. To look after because he hasn't he hasn't been potty trained yet so doing that all over again is a lot um archie i swear to god get down from here but it's all worth it because he's so cute and he's so he's got so much energy and i love him so much and he's trying to get along with mitch my other dog my pomeranian terrier but he's not that into it but we'll get there Um, so that's all for this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. I hope that... I hope it's what you expected, if that's what you voted for on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I will leave the little thingies up here. You'll see. 
got Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, not that Facebook. Tea anyway, but um yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye cousins or uncles or whatever. See ya. Mm.